Mike Kingery is out in right field for the Giants and the first pitch to Tom O'Malley batting for Frank Viola is taken low for ball one. O'Malley with a clutch base hit his last pinch hit at bat and he takes again this one called a strike. He's had two hits in his last four pinch hit at bats. Driven in a couple of runs with that hit that Ralph was talking about. Overall, five for 32 with one home run and five runs batted in as a pinch hitter. One ball, one strike. And ball two, two and one. Reds trailing by two. Out of the bullpen, Bedrosian throwing along with O'Neill. And this ball popped up. It's playable in left field for Mitchell. And one away. That'll bring up Daryl Boston, who's two for three in the game. Got three runs and 11 hits. The Mets one run on six. And as Rusty pointed out earlier, the Mets wasting some of their opportunities. Boston throwing out, trying to stretch a single into a double in the first. McReynolds picked off in the second. McReynolds picked off in the second. A double play in the third after the home run by Tuffle for the Mets' only run. Then Strawberry was thrown out at second in the seventh. So the Mets needing two now here in the ninth inning. They count strike one on Boston. And there's a ball, one ball, one strike. The Mets have come from behind to win 28 games this year, and they have done it 16 times in their last at bat. So there is hope. You got to get a man on base. That's step number one. One one pitch swung on a miss, a fastball right down Broadway. Robinson has pitched three complete games this year. He has a record of 10 and 4 for the year. Started his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates. A 1 2 pitch. And it is oh. just high. And it's two balls and two strikes. Boy, don't be taking another one. <laughs> that was close. Danny DeMuth, the umpire behind home plate. The 2 2 pitch swung on a miss, so Robinson does it all by himself as he picks up his fourth strikeout, and the Mets are down to their last out. Here's a look at it. Just a swing right through that fastball. You know, the Mets had a streak there one time, Ralph, where they were scoring all the time in the first inning. When they scored in the first yesterday, it was the first time they had done it in 14 games. This made it. One out of 15 today. And this ball lined into right center field, and the Mets are alive as Dave Magadan singles the right center, and the Mets have the tying run at the plate. Magadan getting his first hit in four advance. And now the pressure's on as they have the tying run at the plate, and the batter is Greg Jeffries. Jeffries hitting the ball crisply two of the three times with no results. Greg, a home run in last night's ball game, a two run home run. And the first pitch to Jeffries lined to right center field. It'll be extra bases. Magadan on his way to third. He's being waved in. Jeffries to second and holding there. The Mets have the tying run at second base. As Jeffries doubles in Magadan, and the batter coming up is Daryl Strawberry. Well, I'll be surprised if a trip doesn't take place here by Roger Craig. You know, he's an old starter. He likes to let his guys finish if they can. He's thrown a lot of pitches himself. Here, Jeffries gets a high fastball, hits it right in the gap. That's Jeffries' 35th double, which puts him in the lead in the National League. And here's Roger Craig coming out to make a change. You saw Magadan scoring there. 
Three to two. Giants over the Mets. And as Ralph pointed out, the straw man coming to the plate. Out of the bullpen is Steve Bedrosian, their closer. And the sign goes out, and that is it for Don Robinson, who so far has given up two runs on eight hits. And this call to the bullpen is sponsored by New York Telephone, who reminds you that we are all connected. Steve Bedrosian on the mound for the San Francisco Giants. A 6 and 7 record, 4.57 earned run average, and 10 saves. It's his 57th game. He's pitched in 67 innings, given up 63 hits, walking 38, and striking out 36. Here we go. Ed Rosen with 171 saves in his major league career. And pitching to Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry in this game, one for three. And the Mets with a time run at second base. Bedrosian and got it. They're going to walk him. Bedrosian. Well, this is this is very unusual. Walking the the go-ahead run. When they run. Him, that's what I'm talking about. The go-ahead run on first base. I'm very surprised, but we shall see. Roger Craig, not the faint of heart, and not worried about what the critics are going to say, obviously. Well, if you lose it by walking this man, you will be second guessed from day one. We're seeing Bedrosian got his 10th save of the season on Wednesday in Montreal. He had a three up, three down inning in the bottom of the ninth inning in Montreal, but that is not the way it exists here at Shea right now. There have been managers fired for walking the winning run in the ninth inning or extra innings. Eddie Dyer, back when I was playing for Pittsburgh, walked me in a situation like this, and Gus Bell followed and won the ball game when he doubled off the screen and he was fired the next day. Oh. And here's the pitch to Kevin McReynolds. He takes the first pitch for strike one. McReynolds one for three in this game. What kind of a pitch can you can you be looking for there Ralph got to be looking fastball and gun for it. You got a good one to swing at there. Now the one strike pitch a slider down in the dirt and the count one ball and one strike. Bed Rosen is not the pitcher he was back in 1997 when he had 40 saves for the Phils. He used to have about a 98 mile fastball but he does not have that anymore. He relies mainly on fastballs and sliders. And the 1 1 pitch to McReynolds swung on and fouled back out of play. Ed Rosen with the Giants last year, 1 and 4 with 17 saves. He had started the season with the Phillies and was traded to the Giants. Last year he allowed 12 home runs. It was a high for relief pitchers in the major leagues. And here's the 1 2 pitch. Up the middle, a base hit. And the Mets will tie up the ball game. Strawberry in his way to third, the throw in the second, and the Mets have tied it with two runs here in the ninth inning. Another tremendous comeback by the Mets. McReynolds gets that ball right back through the box. The shortstop Benjamin tries to get there. You see that ball going right by the pitcher, but he cannot stop it. Had he stopped it, he might have been able to stop Jeffries. But Jeffries scores the tying run. Now they're calling time. Clark is going to say, look, I'm going to play behind the runner. His run means absolutely nothing. And Howard Johnson at the dish. Howard Johnson with a winning run at third. Two men out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. That's rallying with two runs to tie it here in the ninth. Howard Johnson with a chance to win it. And the pitch is hit down the right field corner. It might drop in. It does, and the Mets win the ball game. The Mets with three runs in the ninth inning. 
and they win it by a score of four to three. What a game! What a game for the Mets! Bedrosian walks off. He can't believe it. Howard Johnson didn't hit a rope, but he hit it well enough to hit it where nobody could catch it. Just a tremendous comeback. What a game, Ralph. What a game. And a disastrous loss for the Giants as Johnson drives in the winning run and the winning run, Daryl Strawberry, a man who has walked intentionally to put the winning run on at first base. Let's check some of the reactions out here. Strawberry watching the ball. He's praying as it goes up. Is it going to get down? Yes, it is. Mets win. Here's a look at it. Again, Howard did not hit a rope. Mike Kingery coming in makes the big dive. Where was he playing, though? He was playing extremely deep, which in is right almost center field. The, the rule. And what a break for the New York Mets. You saw the manager, Roger Craig, walking away. You know they're going to have some conversations with him, Ralph, on exactly what you were talking about. The San Francisco Riders will eat him for breakfast. No doubt about it. There's a very happy Howard Johnson. These are the kind of victories that give you that surge of energy that make you feel like, boys, we got a chance to win this thing. And the Mets in winning can only be one and a half games out of the Pirates win, and they were down. And by that's a score of three to one. 29th come from behind victory. And in their last at bat, they're 17. 17. That's a tremendous stat. So we'll be back with a recap right after these messages. 